I want to talk now about the blinkers. I did mention as we created our blueprint that you're going to be like a horse with blinkers. All you care about is starting that ball on the line you choose. And that putter only has to go back so far, hit, and follow through that far. So this is all we're going to control. This is all we can control. Once it leaves the putter and tracks towards the hole, or on the line you've chosen to hit it on, it's out of your control. It's in the lap of the gods. So we want to do our best attempt at striking it well and setting it out on the line we choose. So let's take our setup. We're going to start with only a 18 inch putt here but we're going to practice listening for it to go in so our eyes are going to stay down looking at the back of the ball here the point between the putter and the ball we don't look at the top of the ball we don't look at the front of the ball right at the back actually the gap between the putter face and the ball so line up the putt listen Listen. Listen. Don't move your head. We want to learn to hear the sound and know that it's gone in rather than see it go in. When you've done your short range T, move to the next one. Do five balls maximum, one ball minimum. I recommend two or three really to begin with. Two is a good number. So hit two, move to the next tee, then two, then two, then two, and get to the end of the line. So you're listening for it to go in. You're creating this non-emotional state where you don't care if it goes in or not. You just listen for it, you know it will if you successfully do your blueprint well, following those basic keys in the putting setup. 